Right then, so welcome to Chimp on Cars. We've got a video here about parallel parking. It's something that you may well be asked to do on your driving test. The examiner will simply pull you up by the side of the road and ask you to uh, look at the car in front and then they'll say to you to pull up alongside that car, keeping reasonably close to it, and then to reverse park back in behind the car and finish reasonably close, reasonably parallel to the curb. Notice there, they've never said at any point perfectly close or perfectly parallel, just reasonably close, reasonably parallel. Very much interested on your driving test in you taking effective observations and keeping yourself safe in regards to other road users um, in particular. So I'll show you how we do that and uh, if you've not really subscribed to the channel obviously it'd be a great idea to do so that. We've got some uh, other interesting things coming up and uh, some bits that may well help you through your test plus driving in general for after your driving test. Very important. Right then, so we've got a car in front. Blind spot check of course, mirror check. Very quiet road, nobody about at all so I'm just pulling out and alongside the vehicle that we're going to use here. So I'm just stopping with the back end of our car, pretty much level with the back end of the car that we're using. Right then, okay, so I'm in reverse gear. I've checked my blind spot, my mirror, other mirror. Okay, so one full turn of the steering wheel will angle the car in towards the curb. Looking around, of course. Now, if anyone comes up to me or walks through the pavement behind me, I'm gonna stop. We're looking for about a 45 degree angle across the road. There we go, it's about there somewhere. We're not gonna get out of the tractor. So safe all around. So there's one turn back and then the second turn back. So we've done two turns at the steering wheel. Still all safe around. And you can see how that's now just bringing the car in alongside the curb. If anyone comes up behind me, I'm gonna stop. Any pedestrians walk past, I'm also gonna stop. All looking pretty safe. So we're pretty much parallel to the curb now. So I'm simply gonna just take the steering wheel back there we go. So that's what we call the one two, one method for parking a car. One turn to the wall to the curb, and then once you get to the 45 degree angle, two turns the other way, and then once we're parallel to the curb at the end, just one turn just to straighten, everything's in a straight line then, and the examiner's gonna simply say, thank you very much, drive on when you're ready. So, as I said, I would have stopped at any point there if another car had come past us and driven past us, and I would have stopped if any pedestrians had walked past us. Right then, so let's show you what happens when it goes wrong just a little. So blind spots again, simply gonna use the same vehicle again. So I've pulled out alongside it. I'm gonna stop, I'm a little closer this time, but that's fine. Okay, so the back end of our car is roughly level with the back end of the car we're using. So blind spots, okay, so I'm simply gonna go back one turn as before. So let's look at what we would do if we got too close to the curb pedestrian going through behind so we're not near the curb but we've just eased off and let him walk through so everything else is safe so if I go too far back then like I'm doing now past the 45 degrees two turns of the steering wheel back the other way so what's going to happen now is that we're going to end up too close to the pavement obviously if we go up the pavement that's going to become an issue so there's the pavement there so I've got a little bit of room in front of the car I can either pull out and start again, or I can steer very quickly towards the car that we're using. So we've got room there to use. So I've gone towards the car we're using, back into reverse. There's a car in front, he's okay. So now we're just going to finish off just by steering to the right there. And we've achieved a parallel position. Now I just need to straighten up the steering wheel. And we just need to go back, just a safe distance. Okay, there we go. So. Let's look at what we would do if we finish too far from the curb. So looking all around, safe. No one coming past us. Okay, so we can use the same vehicle again. It's my vehicle, I can use it as often as I like without upsetting anybody. All right then, so we're into reverse gear. So I'm gonna put windscreen wipers on and the back wipers on too. All right then, so checking all around. So what would we do if we swung into a space and we were too far from the curb. So what we're gonna do is start steering to the right too soon this time. So this would happen if you steered to the right too soon, too quickly, or you steered too much. So we're coming in and we're gonna find ourselves, and we're gonna be thinking, hang on a second, that ain't close enough to the curb. So we're gonna simply go back a little bit further, just straighten up the steering wheel. So it's still one, two, one method. It's all the same. Okay, so we've got a two car length gap to use. So I'm not gonna go back any further because I'm gonna hit the imaginary car that's now behind us. So what I'm gonna do now is just go forwards, making sure we're safe, of course, towards the car that we're using. Oh, just knock the curb there. 
Okay, so we're gonna get reasonably close to that car. And then straighten up steering wheel. Okay, so now we're reasonably close to it. We're in reverse gear. We're checking all around. So we're actually reasonably close to the girl. I'm just gonna go a little bit that way. So a mini parking maneuver says one, and then we've got the two, and then the one to finish. So like a little shorter one, two, one there. Okay, so touching the curbs fine, going up it is not fine, don't go up the curbs. And touching other cars is definitely not fine, so definitely don't touch those, but do get uh, reasonably close to them, but leave nice margins there um, to keep yourself safe. And um, we are allowed to shunt backwards and forwards as I've demonstrated there. Um, we're allowed to go backwards and forwards to sort stuff out if we're ending up too far from the kerb, too close to the kerb. Um, as long as we stay within two car lengths, we can do what we need to do to sort the stuff out. Hope that helps. Subscribe, comment, and let us know what you think.